Hey there, today we're diving into Split Text, one of the most popular GSAP plugins that just became completely free for everyone. This powerful tool lets you break apart any HTML element into individual lines, words, or characters, automatically wrapping each piece in its own element that you can animate independently. Once everything is split up, you can create these incredible staggered animations and effects that would be incredibly difficult to code by hand. We're going to explore everything from basic splits to advanced sequencing techniques. Stick around till the end because we're covering all the features that make this plugin so powerful for modern web animations. If you're excited about leveling up your animation skills, make sure to like and subscribe for more content that helps you build better websites, faster. Let me show you the simple HTML structure we're starting with. I have a clean hero section with an empty heading element. This is where our animated text will live. Notice I'm loading GSAP Core plus two specific plugins, Split Text for breaking apart our content and Physics 2D for those realistic motion effects. The empty heading might seem unusual, but it's intentional. We'll be dynamically injecting and animating different text combinations. So starting with a blank canvas gives us maximum flexibility. This minimal setup means we can focus entirely on the animation logic without getting distracted by complex markup. Everything we build from here will happen through JavaScript and the power of GSAP. The CSS sets up a dark tech-inspired canvas with a subtle grid background that adds depth without overwhelming the animation. I'm using bold uppercase typography that's perfectly centered to create maximum impact when our text explodes onto the screen. The stage is set. Now let's bring it to life. Before we start animating, I need to register these plugins with GSAP. This quick one-liner tells GSAP we'll be using split text for breaking apart our text and physics 2D for those realistic motion effects. It's like handing our tools to the animation engine so everything works seamlessly together. Now I'm setting up our content system with this simple array. Each sentence is broken into three parts. The text before the highlight, the keyword we want to emphasize, and anything that comes after. We're starting with one sentence, but this setup makes it easy to add more variations later. The pre and post parts handle the setup and context, while highlight focuses on the emotional punchline that gets the special effects. Now in the next step, I'm grabbing our hero title element from the page. This is where all our animated text will appear. I'm also setting up a simple counter that starts at zero, which will help us track which sentence we're currently displaying. It's the simple foundation that makes our entire animation loop possible. Now I'm creating a function that builds each sentence piece by piece. It takes our sentence object and dynamically constructs the HTML. The regular text comes first, then the highlighted word gets special styling, and finally any remaining text wraps it up. Notice how I'm using template literals here? This lets me seamlessly blend our content pieces together while ensuring the highlighted word stands out with that accent color and unique ID we'll use for the explosion effect. It's like building a custom sentence generator that knows exactly which word deserves the spotlight. Now I'm setting up our animation to begin the moment the page finishes loading. When the content is fully loaded, I immediately call our render function with the first sentence from our array. This ensures everything starts at exactly the right moment, after all the elements are ready but before the user sees a blank screen. Now I'm adding more sentences to our array, each with their own highlighted word that will get that explosive treatment. You can see how this structure works. Every sentence has a setup, a punchline, and sometimes a follow-up. Now watch what happens when I change this index value. By simply updating the index to one, two, or three, our function instantly renders a completely different sentence from our collection. This is the foundation for creating that seamless loop we're building toward, where each sentence explodes onto the screen, then gracefully makes way for the next one in sequence. Now I'm creating our main animation function. The first thing I do is instantiate split text on our title element. This is where the real magic happens. Let me break down these configuration options. The type parameter tells split text what to break apart. I'm using characters, words, lines, which means it will split our text into individual characters, words, and lines simultaneously. Then I'm assigning custom CSS classes to each type. Lines class for entire lines, words class for individual words, and chars class for each character. This gives me granular control to animate each piece separately. By splitting into all three types at once, I can create incredibly complex animations. I can make entire lines slide in, words stagger with delays, and individual characters explode with physics, all in the same animation sequence. It's like having a complete animation toolkit for every part of our text. 
The moment this code runs, split text automatically wraps every character, word, and line in div elements with our specified classes. Now I'm updating our initialization to call both functions together. First, render sentence builds our HTML structure with the proper classes and IDs, then immediately after, animate sentence takes that structure and brings it to life with split text. This sequence is crucial. We have to build the sentence first so there's actual text for split text to work with, then we can immediately animate it. Now let me show you what's happening behind the scenes. If I open the developer tools and inspect our title element, you can see the incredible transformation that split text just performed. Every single line, word, and character has been automatically wrapped in its own div tag with the classes we defined. Lines have the line class, words have word, and each individual character has the char class we specified. This granular structure is exactly what makes our complex animations possible. Let's build our first sentence animation. Now I'm creating the entrance animation for our words using gsaps from method. This means we're defining where the animation starts from and gsap will animate them to their natural end state. Let me walk through each property. The Y negative 100 starts each word 100 pixels above its final position, creating that falling effect. Opacity zero makes them completely transparent at the beginning so they fade in as they move. The rotation random negative 80 and positive 80 gives each word a random starting rotation between negative 80 and positive 80 degrees. This creates that organic, chaotic entrance where every word tumbles in at a different angle. The duration, 0.7, sets a snappy three-quarter second animation, while Ease Back adds that nice overshoot effect at the end, like the words bounce slightly past their target before settling. Finally, Stagger. 0.1 is the secret sauce. It delays each word's animation by 0.1 seconds from the previous one. This creates that beautiful wave effect where words cascade into place one after another instead of all moving at once. Now I'm creating the highlight animation where our keyword literally explodes apart. First, I'm using split text again, but this time I'm targeting just the highlighted word and splitting it into individual characters. I'm setting the highlight's opacity to one to make sure it's fully visible before we begin. Then I create a GSAP timeline with a 0.8 second delay. This gives our initial word animation time to complete before the explosion begins. Now for the explosive properties. I'm setting a 2.2 second duration for a dramatic slow motion explosion. The characters will fade to invisible with opacity zero and spin wildly with rotation. Random negative 2000 and positive 2000. That's up to 2000 degrees in either direction. The physics 2D plugin is where the magic happens. Angle random 240, 320 shoots characters upward at random angles between 240 and 320 degrees. Velocity random 300, 600 gives them different speeds, and gravity 800 pulls them back down realistically. The stagger 0.015 creates a tiny delay between each character's explosion, making it look like a chain reaction. And the delay 1.5 waits a full second and a half after the word lands before triggering the explosion, building anticipation for that satisfying payoff. When this runs, each character of our highlighted word flies off in a different direction with realistic physics spinning wildly as gravity pulls them down, creating that chaotic, explosive effect that feels both random and intentional. Now I'm adding the reverse animation for our entire sentence. While our highlighted word is exploding, I want the rest of the text to gracefully exit the stage to make room for the next sentence. I'm using the same animation, but in reverse. Instead of animating from properties, I'm animating to these exit values. But this animation only runs once, and we need to cycle through all our sentences. That's why I'm adding this final callback function to our timeline. First, I call sentence split.revert and highlight split.revert to clean up DOM. This removes all the elements split text created, returning our HTML to its original state. Then I update our index with idx plus one, hero lines.length. This increments the index but wraps around to zero when we reach the end, creating that seamless infinite loop. Finally, I call render sentence with the next sentence and animate sentence again. This creates a beautiful perpetual motion where each sentence explodes, cleans up, and makes way for the next one in sequence. Now our animation runs forever. Each sentence gets its moment to shine with that explosive entrance and graceful exit, then hands the stage to the next one. It's a perfect, self-sustaining animation loop that keeps users engaged and watching. And that's how you create explosive text animations with GSAP and split text. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.
We have tons of UI projects and animation concepts waiting for you. I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below with what you'd like to see next or any questions about this implementation. Your suggestion might just become our next video topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.